Hello ladies and gentlemen and gentle boys. Fucking gentle boys. <laughs> Fucking hello ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and ladies and <laughs> ladies fuck. Hello ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and I say ladies and then ladies and ladies and gentlemen. Holy fuck. I cannot speak English. Johnny Lampadati here. And today I'll be showing you the Hyundai Genesis Rally Car Group B drift build, specifically a lower speed drift build to keep up with the slow 8.6s and Ford, maybe not the Ford Mustang now, it's actually kind of fast, but yes, those slow 8.6s. <clears throat> Alright, so let's get to it. So yes, this is an all wire, a while all-wheel drive or four-wheel drive build. I don't actually know which one it is, just says four-wheel drive as you can see with other cars it just says four-wheel drive and i think gt ever specified if it was all-wheel or four-wheel drive because you know there is a difference i don't exactly remember but there is some videos on youtube and wikipedia to answer that question so for the weight reduction i maxed it out because you know weight reduction is nice some people don't always do it but i like to do it now for the power put it at 108 it's kind of random but I just wanted not too much power difference from the stock but just enough to get the wheel spinning but not too much to where I'm just sliding all over the place killing people and shit traction control zero I don't know why the hell would you have how would I have you hey you would have traction control on a drift build or in general because if you do you're a little B word uh, Tires, comfort hards, you know, always drifting comfort hards. Unless you want to drive fast, then either get a faster car or use like sports or something. Even though that's like that's like a GT5 build. Brake balance zero. So for the suspension, this is where I always have issues because the tuning is so much different from GT5. I don't even know how to tune, but I try. So the ride height is lowered to the max, you know, slammed, whatever you want to call it. Not exactly slammed. Can't exactly slam in this game. But, you know, just as lower as possible. Usually, it doesn't do anything bad. Not from my scene. People usually do it, and it just looks nicer. So the height doesn't really matter, but usually you, people do lower it all the way. Now for the natural frequency, I believe 1.8 might be the natural stock frequency, but I just kept at 1.8, and then this is 2.2. I don't know. Yeah, I do know. It's just to have a little bit more oversteer. Energy roll bars, stock 7.4. I don't know how, but it just works out for the car nicely. Again, for the damping ratios, they're both stock, except for a bit plus one for the fronts. You have camber angle 2.0. Usually I go from 1.5 to 2.0, depending on how I'm feeling. But that just, the 2.0 camera on the front usually just helps with the sliding of the car, gives you a little bit more control. Somehow, I don't know the exact science, but that's how it works out. Same thing for the tow angle, around 45 or 50, maybe even 40, gives you more control of the front. That's just how it feels. So for the aerodynamics, or downforce, whatever, you want to lower that to as minimum as possible, because, you know, downforce, it does not help with drifting. That's just, yes, that's just a given. For the LSD, minimum five, 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 five. Braking is 50-50. I just like a little bit more sensitive brakes. But, um, so for these, these two, or four, I guess. This is so when you're like, it just helps with throttle control because when you like press the gas, it doesn't go max out to 50,000 RPMs, you know, it just goes like, we, you know, just a little bit. It helps well with just with auto control, you know. And for the front rear torque split, 1090. I don't, I've never drifted in like 40 60. I tried it in previous GTs, hard as shit. See, so at 1090, it's like basically you're driving almost FR, but it's just a little bit of con like spin in the front so you get more control. Because drifting in four-wheel drive is a lot more forgiving than drifting in uh, rear-wheel drive. Especially in MR. But yes, 1090. 
so you get it's just easier to drift and for the transmission 200 kilometers which I believe is like 168 miles per hour or something I don't exactly remember who the fuck is this oh it's Twitter okay so yes for the first three gears I put it to the minimum the fourth gear I kept it around 1.620 or 147 kilometers per hour uh, that just works out for me you can mess around with this if you want the last two gears, I kind of just left it alone. In the final gear, I didn't even touch that. All I need to do is set it to 200 and find what gears work out for you. Because usually you, you don't need that much speed when you're drifting. Maybe just to get across like the straightaway and like... Was it Suzuka? I was about to say Scuba. But they don't got Scuba. <laughs> but yes, first four gears matter the most. People usually drift in fourth gear maybe in fifth gear sometimes I have drifted in fifth gear a little bit just gain more speed but that was like drifting with Ferraris and that's just hard um so yeah those are the setups let me just go through it again power ratio 108 percent weight reduction 88 percent comfort hards zero trash control zero brake balance ride height 2.76 2.76 on both Natural frequency 1.80, 2.20. Interval bars 7, 4. Dampening ratio compression 61, 60. Blah 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 blah. 2.0, 0, 45, 0. Downforce minimum. LSD initial torque and acceleration sensitivity minimum. Braking sensitivity, braking sensitivity 50 50. And torque split 10 90. 10 on the front, 90 on the back. And for the transmission, 200 kilometers or 168 miles per hour top speed. First through the first three gears are minimum. Fourth gear, pretty close to the minimum, but it's up to you how you do it. And last two gears do not matter. So with that out of the way, let's just do a quick little demo in a drift trial at Suzuka. All right, here we are in Suzuka East. We will now demonstrate the power of this build. Alright, this is definitely the first take. I'm not picture the first one after all. Because you don't see it. You never have it. A little bit of that grass life. Oh god, I saved it! Oh yes, I saved it. Oh, but the NPC did. <sighs> okay. So as you can see, drifting in the all-wheel drive is actually very forgiving. You can, if you like oversteer, you can actually say it. You have, if, uh, you have a really good chance of saving it. If you, however, if you like, if you don't do throttle control well, you can see as I have terrible throttle control often. I was like skirting all over the place, like rrr, rrr, that sounded like a cat. But if you do throttle control, the thing is a beast. Tandems, you can tandem. It's actually really good for tandeming with like the slow ATXs, as I said. However, sometimes you might have trouble with keeping up with their lines, cause. You know, the, the all-wheel drive doesn't behave the same as a FR. But, you know, with a little bit of braking, e-brake, throttle control, you can actually tandem pretty well. I, I, I have tandemed really well with this because I actually suck at drifting FR. It's so much different than GT5, but... Yeah, 
that's that's it that is the genesis B rally car drift build specifically the slow drift build if you want to drift faster you can't equip uh, maybe sports tires maybe CS's just ramp up that horsepower and you can drift with those freaking Ferraris Lamborghinis freaking GTR Nismo to 6,000 horsepower I don't know how much it is probably like 800 or something oh yeah that's uh, that's the tune Thank you for watching this lovely, lovely Gran Turismo drift build video. Make sure you hit that like button. Because that's the only button, but bu the only button you can hit. Because you know, yeah, that's don't don't even think about anything else. It's just the like button and comment. Just anything. How you're feeling? Was the drift build good? Do you like the livery? Like the color? Do you like how all my scores are in Group B? Except for the last. With that said, thank you for watching and have a lovely day.